Another important thing I wanted to talk to you all about is something that you said, Pedro, last night as well in El Chiringuito, confirm, and it is about the signings for Real Madrid this, uh, this summer and what the um, signing policy will look like for Real Madrid as of the next month, I mean, as of this month of July. But they don't confirm that Real Madrid will put every single effort, every single euro on the table that they own, that they have, just for Kylian Mbappe. I mean, in a certain way, he was hinting that Real Madrid is not going to try to sign any other single player unless they sell a bunch of players or they get a lot of money from just one player and then they might think in bolstering or reinforce um, some different or specific areas of the field. I mean, for example, say that we are able to sell a rough run for about 70 million euros, then we might reconsider and think about signing another player. But as long as something like that um, don't happen or doesn't happen or something like that, then Real Madrid will only try to sign Kylian Mbappe and that's it. I mean, this is not the year to overexpand, to, uh, you know, try to sign everybody or try to sign different uh, players or something like that. Um, if you ask to me, in my opinion, this is a wrong policy because you have to keep in mind that although Mbappe is maybe the most, arguably, the most important player, the most important signing for us, there are other bunch of positions we have to think about um, or try to bolster for the next year. I mean, for example, what happens with the right back? What happens with the midfield? Because apparently Ancelotti is saying that the midfield might be uh, count on another different player. And look, Locatelli, Barella, uh, and Goretzka has, have been sounding uh, for Real Madrid over the last weeks. I don't know. I mean, in my opinion, we should try to sign another player, but apparently, according to Josep Pedrerol, that is not going to happen soon.